Question 3. Make x the subject of the formula. A is equals to bx divided by the square root of x squared minus 9. Now the first thing you're going to do, we write it again here. A is equals to bx divided by the square root of x squared minus 9. So the first thing you're going to do is to get rid of the square root sign. And to, to get rid of that, we are going to square to get rid of the square root sign we square. So we are going to square both sides like that. This one is to eliminate the square root sign here in the denominator. So this will be a squared is equals to when you square bx, get b squared x squared. And then the denominator, the square root will disappear. Remain with x squared minus 9. So from there, you can just express a squared as a squared over 1. And then you cross multiply. Let's cross multiply. And this one will be a squared multiply by x squared minus 9. Then is equals to 1 multiply by b squared x squared. In the brackets, you get a squared x squared minus 9 a squared is equals to b squared x squared. Since you're making x the subject, you bring the x's to the same side. So this one and this one, you bring them together. So I will have it like this, a, a, a squared x squared, bring b squared x squared to the left hand side, you get sub minus b squared x squared is equals to 9a squared. The left hand side factor out x is common, x squared is common, so you remain with the a squared minus b squared is equals to 9a squared. To remain with x squared, both side divide both side by a squared minus b squared. So divide this side by a squared minus b squared like that and this side a squared minus b squared. So this one will give you x squared will be 9a squared divided by a squared minus b squared. Still we have not obtained the answer. And to get x, you have x squared, now you need x, you get the square root of both sides. So therefore x will be given by, when you get the square root of the numerator, square root of 9a squared would be 3a. Then the square root of the denominator, cannot get the exact square root there, so you leave it like that. Don't forget, when you're getting the square root, you either get either positive or negative. Positive or negative, let me indicate this one properly. So you get either positive or negative. So therefore, x is equals to 3a divided by a squared minus b squared. You get the square root of that. And this one should be positive or negative. 